Hello everybody, J. Carr Will here and in this video I'm going to show you how to adjust the lighting and color to your templates and uh, here I have Adobe Photoshop CS4 and okay I'm going to show you how you can change the lighting you go to image adjustments and exposure and under the gamma correction menu you pretty much uh, change the contrast to light or dark and you can also change the exposure of the images yeah, it usually makes the lighter color, colors lighter and go the other way it just makes everything darker and the offset well I don't feel with that too much because it just yeah it just puts everything off but I don't know if it helps for you and you can use it but uh, I just mainly use the gamma correction so yeah you can also use the hue saturation and this will adjust the color like if you want to lean it more toward yellow just pull it to the right and it will eventually turn green and if you pull the other way it will go toward orange or red yeah it will turn pink <laughs> or if you like the color you can also uh, change the intensity of it by raising the saturation here All right. and if you want to change the color temperature you go to color balance I'll zoom in here so you can see it a little better. Yeah, like for example, you could lean all the colors toward cyan. It would just make the everything cooler. And if you go toward red, it just makes everything warmer. toward magenta and more toward green and if it still doesn't look right there's also uh, other tone balance options like here that was for mid tones and for shadows yeah this is only if you have printing issues where your prints look like they're too warm or too cool uh, you can just use the color balance menu to uh, sort that out but um, yeah that's pretty much what you can do as far as uh, color goes and how to print and yeah, just go to file print Be sure it's in landscape and not portrait. And I go to page setup. Alright, and I always choose the borderless option. And if you're using the glossy paper, yeah, you just pick the glossy photo paper option. Or if you're using cardstock or matte paper, you just use the matte photo paper option okay and here I have a print quality setting I always put it on high for the best setting or for the best print and click OK and if, and if the prints are getting cut off 
uh, and you could change the scale like I just took away one of the zeros and you could just drag it to any scale that you want to be sure everything fits when you make your prints and when you're ready you, know, you just hit print and yeah be sure it goes to the printer that you want to print with and just hit print and voila yeah so that's pretty much my tour for how to print so uh, yeah stay tuned for more videos <laughs>